Hello Sparks and welcome back to another video. I'm going to get straight into this, but this video is just a roundup of the plotline of my series, The Stardust Dynasty. So, the first sort of main part is Frostbite's point of view, that's the first book. There are five books, five main characters. Frostbite is found by Duskfall and her army who are looking for save survivors from um, Sunspire's army who have attacked all the other kingdoms and Frostbite is one of the survivors. He's been there for a while with an air dragon named Cloudstep and the two are living their lives in the safety of Queen Dusk Falls dungeons on an island called Storm Scourge Island. It's quite safe there, they're very happy for, for a while um, until two, a bunch of guards and Queen Dusk Falls herself come in asking for Frostbite and Cloud Step to follow them. When they do, they meet two dragons, Kindletooth and Amberbreeze, who Duskfall saw in a vision she had, which I haven't sort of figured out about the whole vision thing, but I'll figure something out soon. And she tells them that they're part of this big prophecy. Now, as this is happening, the dragon balls into the room, attacking Frostbite, his name is Nightshade, it turns out that Nightshade is always a part of this prophecy and he was just being protective as he is the adoptive son and assassin for Queen Duskfall. So they're given a map by Duskfall and a bunch of stuff so they set out on their journey. At first they head to the Water Kingdom to find Luna, Soulstone, which I will explain in another video all of that it's about the Soulstones and stuff. Um, but they head there and Frostbite and Cloudstep head off to the Ice Kingdom, which is next to the Water Kingdom. Frostbite believes that his sister, part of the army that was attacked, might still be alive and well in the kingdom. She's alive, however, she's not very well and she's on the brink of death, really. She tells them that she knows exactly where the crystal is, thanks to a group of water dragons who offered to help her back when the battle was barely over. She dies, sadly. And despite all his grief, Frostbite and Cloudstep fight meet the others back in the Water Kingdom and find the Soulstone. They are attacked by a water dragon named Anglofang, whose intentions are unexplained until the second book. That's all I round up of the first book. I'm gonna do these in parts. And by the way, this art I'm drawing here is not ship art between Kibli and Duskfall. Dusk no Nightshade, sorry. It there's gonna be a part two for it, you'll understand. Um, but yeah, they are, I'm, they are being shipped in this photo here, but yeah, hope you enjoyed and I'll get more parts of this up soon. Thank you for watching.